Welcome to Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Today's video, we're going to be making a L shape or 90 degree fireplace screen. I'm going to be using some 1 inch square tube for the outer frame, some 5 inch square tube for some inner decor, and I'll be backing that up with some half inch lightweight expanded metal. It's going to be a fun little project. Let's get started on today's video. All right, so I got a little sketch right here, <clears throat> kind of a three dimensional thing, just with some figures on it. So I need two pieces at about 40 inches. I need two pieces or three pieces at 24 inches and a couple pieces at 20. So this is the scrap stuff that I have in the bin. You know, I always saved everything because you never know uh, when you're going to use something. So here I need two pieces at 40. This is 39 and a half. Of course, that's not going to work. I need two pieces at 20 inches. That's 18 and a half. That's too short. I need three pieces at 24. Now that's 23 and a half. That's too short. Hey, look at that. I got one that's 24. All right, we'll use this one for the 20. This is no good. I don't know. Maybe we'll get a 24 and a 20 out of this right here. Maybe we can do something like that. All right, before I get started, I think I'm gonna change out this, uh, this champion cutting blade right here. And you can see this thing, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got some serious wear to it. I literally have hundreds of cuts on this thing. It doesn't owe me a dime. I'm missing a couple of teeth on this, but that doesn't surprise me. I've cut just about every type of metal there is and every thickness of metal there is on this thing. And it's still sharp, but uh, I'm gonna change it anyway. Got a lot of wear to it. And uh, because I can't, not because I have to, but because I can't. Let me bring in. Let's get this thing changed out for a brand new RGR champion blade on here. It's one thing about this evolution saw. They, they make things fairly easy right here to change. Just loosen that off. Everything's the same size. You know, they just provide this wrench that sits in the saw. That's pretty cool. All right, here's the old blade. You can see it's still in really good shape, despite of what it's gone through. Um, there are just a couple of uh, couple of missing uh, carbides on here, which is nothing compared to what I've used for used this thing for. You got a brand new one right here. All right, there we go.
Got back from Cameron Air with a couple of uh, fresh bottles of gas. Let's get these things hooked up. It's always a, it's always handy to have a one-inch uh, wrench right here. Most bottles. That's what it is, it's one inch. Makes things a lot easier. It's always nice to have a dual flow meter. I run a couple of machines, a um, couple of two or three of the machines I have, they run on argon. It's nice to have a dual flow meter.
Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, you might notice something just a little bit different in this uh, video already. It is more like it's uh, real time and not so much fast forward. You know, most of my videos or all my videos are fast forward and the reason for that is, uh, you know, most of my projects take anywhere from one to two days to two to three weeks, depending on what it is I'm building. And so obviously we can't have real time in those, it'd be forever. So this is why we condense everything down uh, and make it fast forward and condense it all down to a single video. Most cases that, you know, last anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes long. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, viewers that um, were hoping that I could slow my videos down a little bit, see a little bit more of the build, see how things are done. So I thought that we would take that approach here with this series. Um, there's going to be three videos to complete this project right here. And then most of them are going to be close to real time. There's going to be very little if, if or no fast forwarding, um, if any at all. And then also, too, there'll be very little narrating. I might jump in here and there to just uh, explain what it is we're doing. Or if there's something that may not be clear, I might jump in and say something. But for the most part, it's going to be real time. Uh, you guys uh, drop a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think about this new format. I hope you guys enjoy this three-part series. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video.
All right, so we're coming to the end of uh, part one of this video series, and I just wanted to kind of give you a little recap of uh, what we did in this video. Uh, first was, uh, you know, cutting and assembling the frame itself, and I can't stress how important it is to get everything perfectly square. You see me uh, dealing uh, with a lot of different squares. Uh, this has to fit in an opening, and I'm trying to make it really tight so it just fits right in so there's no, there's no gaps anywhere. So it's uh, pretty important to get everything nice and square. Uh, I also want to talk about uh, the, the, the welder I'm using and the settings I use on something like this. This is the HGP Propulse uh, 220 MTS. It's kind of my go-to for most of the stuff that I do. I'm running 35 thousandths wire, and for the settings on this, it's about 200 inches a minute. That's not very much, but uh, I want to slow it down a little bit. This is uh, 063, and this is about 16th of an inch uh, wall thickness and it's pretty small stuff so slow it down i found that the around 200 inches a minute worked the best for me uh, in the machine that i'm using once i got all that done um, i just ground everything nice and smooth using a mercer uh, ceramic uh, trimmable flap disc here uh, all kinds of different flap discs i use go th go through usually many different grits uh, this is the one i'm using just to clean things up on this and uh, that's where we are going to finish this video off. We'll pick it up on, on part two. And in part two, um, we're going to be assembling the inside and all the, the decor that's going in there. It's pretty interesting. I make a jig uh, for all the 45 cuts that I'm going to need uh, for the inside of uh, the decor. Also, I want to check out my website at jimbosgarage.com. All right, stay tuned for part two and enjoy that video. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.